Hello everybody. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah! Yeah? Can you all see me okay? Yeah! Excellent. Let's go. Today we're going to visit a few different countries and see how schools are different. First of all, we're going to look around a Czech school. We're going to have some students and they're going to show us their school. Hi! This is our school. This is our headmaster. Hi. Come with us, we will show you the inside of our school. But first, take off your shoes. This is our classroom and here is our teacher. Here is a desk and here is a chair. This is our playground. We love to play here. It is fun! Thank you for showing us your school. Now, should we go and have a look at a different school? Now, we're going to look at what it's like to go to an English school. English students usually go by car, bus, or they walk to school. School starts at 9 o'clock in the morning and continues until 3.30 in the afternoon. There are 25 children in each class. And they start at age 5. Lots of schools have school uniforms, so all the students look a little bit like this. They study lots of subjects and have well-equipped classrooms. All schools have a hall or gym for doing PE, and some schools have football pitches, a running track, and even a swimming pool. The main sports we do in English schools are football, Rugby, cricket, and hockey. At break times, the students play outside in big playgrounds and on the school field. They play games like football, tig, hopscotch, and skipping. English schools only have six weeks summer holidays but they do have two weeks at Easter and two weeks every Christmas. Would you like to go to an English school? Yes! Would you? Now, let's go and see what it's like to go to an African school. Welcome to Africa. Wow, it's hot here. Whew. African children sometimes have to run long distances to get to rural schools. Some children get up at 4am to run 10 kilometres to get to school. They run on mud tracks through forests where wild animals live. Grrr. It can be very dangerous. Once they get to school, they might not even have class books, pens or even a blackboard. They play outside using homemade footballs and other games. Then, they have to run all the way home again. Would you like to go to an African school? Welcome to Australia. Australia is a huge continent, home to some of the most isolated communities in the world. How do the children in these communities go to school? They go to the Australian School of the Air. The school, based in Alice Springs, is probably the biggest school in the world. Its classrooms are spread over 1.3 million square kilometres. 
Yet, it only has 120 students and 14 teachers. The teachers and the students use two-way radios so that they can bring the classroom into their homes. They have one half-hour lesson a day and then they speak to their teacher one-on-one -on -one for 10 minutes every week. Plus, five or six hours a day homework. Would you only like to have one lesson per day and only see your teacher for 10 minutes a week? Japanese children often ride their bike to school. They also sometimes take the bus or the train. They have to wear school uniforms and they have to follow the school rules even when they're outside of school. That means when they're going to school or even when they're going home again. Japanese classes usually have 45 students. They study mathematics, social studies, Japanese and usually English. The schools have no cleaners and the students have to clean the school themselves. Would you like to go to school six days a week, children? That means going on a Saturday as well, because that's what might happen in Japan soon. And they only have five week summer holidays, plus they still have to go to school to go to their school clubs and they have lots and lots of homework to do. Would you like to go to a Japanese school? Yes! Would you? Wow! All those schools are very different, aren't they? But they all had some similarities too. Each school had some pupils, teachers, and a headmaster. There are desks and chairs in a classroom with textbooks, exercise books, pencils, pens, pencil cases, colored pencils, and some schools had a gym and a playground. How is your school different from the schools we've seen today? Now, it's time for me to get back to my school. Ah, I'm late for class.